you take a step into the 375 MTL offices, you'll hear a lot of talk about legs. Now, if you catch one of these conversations, it's very important to know that we're talking about Montreal legacies and not the kind of legs someone like Tina Turner is famous for. Between now and 2017, we're going to introduce you to some of our favorite Montreal legacy spots. What's our first spot of interest? Welcome to St. Joseph's Oratory of Mount Royal! Did you know that the Oratory is one of the most frequently visited pilgrimage places in the entire world? St. Joseph's Oratory is actually the second most visited site in Quebec, ranking below only the casino. Who would have thunk it? Montrealers are always telling tourists to visit the place, but take a second and ask yourself, when was the last time you actually came up here? Anybody? Here are five reasons we should start getting excited about getting our butts up here more often. First of all, this place is kind of magical. Full-on miracles were performed here by the renowned Brother Andre also known as the Miracle Man of Montreal. Some people say that if you put your ears to these steps and listen very closely, you can hear the laughter of newly healthy children leaving the basilica. I'm just kidding, you'd look crazy if you did that. <laughs> Speaking of unexplained phenomena and mysterious healing powers, this place can get kind of creepy after the sun goes down. By night, this place is kind of like a real life, 100 year old haunted house open 24 seven, all year round. On a clear day at the Oratory, you can see all the way to the United States from its spectacular observation point. Well, almost. Catholics come from far and wide to experience the wonders of the Oratory, and many of them climb up these steps on their knees in devotion. The least you could do is come up here and give them your totally silent, completely unobtrusive moral support. While the Oratory may be absolutely stunning right now, like a fine wine, it's only going to get better with age and a little help from the Legs Project. So, what exactly does 2017 have in store for this historic landmark? How about more green space? No car traffic on the site. And a 360 degree observation center that will allow everyone to take in the city's most breathtaking view from the highest point of the building. Obviously, you don't have to wait until 2017 to come check out the oratory. Why not take a trip up here before we all get snowed in in about 10 minutes? Click here to find out more about the Legs Project and check back here next week to find out what other kinds of treats Montreal has in store for itself for its 375th anniversary. We've got a ton of legs to cover and uh, if you want to see a particular one, let us know in the comments. Together.